is Sam from DIY Huntress, and I am so excited to tell you about this new campaign that I have going on with Rayobi Power Tools. I've partnered up with my really good friends at Rayobi to bring you guys not one, not two, not even three, but four functional projects for small living spaces. Over the next four weeks, I will be sharing four different projects right here on my YouTube channel. Even better, if you choose to try any of my projects at all and you tag that project on social media to hashtag sweepstakes as well as tag myself at DIY Huntress and Rayobi Power Tools, you can be entered to win one of three packages for $500 worth of power tools. Say what? To help get this party started, today I'm going to show you how to make a wall-mounted bike rack. You can store your bike, your helmet, your water bottles, and pretty much anything else you use to go cycling on this bike rack. I'm really excited to show you guys this project, so let's get started. You can find a written step-by-step -step tutorial as well as free printable PDF plans and a cut list for this project on Ryobi Nation by visiting the link below this video. The first step in this project is to measure and cut all of the pieces needed for the bike rack. For this bike rack, you will need a large backer board, three evenly cut shelves, one front piece for the cubby, one spacer board, and a small scrap piece that will prevent the bike from falling off the rack. All of these measurements can be found in the free plans on Ryobi Nation. Before assembling anything, I did make sure to sand everything down. This will make staining so much easier later. Once you're ready to begin assembling, all you have to do is screw the three shelving pieces into the backer board with wood screws from the back end. While I'm attaching these boards, I should let you know that everything I measured for this project was based around my own personal accessories that I have for my bike. So you may need to make some adjustments to your own personal measurements before building. Once you have added all three shelves, flip that piece over and you should have something that looks like this. Next step in the process will be to attach the front of the cubby. I just went ahead and did this by adding some wood glue and some brad nails through the front of the board and into those two shelving pieces. After that, attach the little piece that's going to prevent the bike from falling the same exact way. Once that's done, go ahead and fill all of the little nail holes with wood putty. Allow that wood putty to dry and then sand it flat. After sanding the front of your piece, add whatever stain or paint color you feel like matches your decor best. Now at this point in the process, I realized that the bottom shelf could not hold the weight of my bicycle. So you are going to do what I did here and add a spacer piece in between the middle and bottom shelves with some wood screws. And if you're like me and decide that you hate looking at those little holes from the screws, you can go ahead and fill those with wood putty, allow them to dry, sand them, and then stain them. Next up is to add the hooks at the bottom of the rack for hanging small things like keys or sunglasses. For this step, just make sure to follow the directions that come with whatever hardware that you purchased for your bike rack. And the last step will be to add picture hanging hooks to the back that will support the weight of your bicycle. What I love the most about this project is that if you live in a small space like I do, you are now able to store your bulky items for your bicycle on your wall and free up some really valuable real estate on your floor. If you are looking for more projects that are functional for small spaces, you can visit my website at DIYHuntress.com 
or my project page on Ryobi Nation. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you do not miss the next three projects in this series. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and happy DIYing.